Let's see how to uh, develop a universal framework for Swift. Um, since uh, Xcode 6, uh, Apple uh, gave the possibility um, to uh, develop also uh, dynamic frameworks, uh, not only uh, static libraries. Um, so, let, let's see how to uh, package uh, to develop a, a universal framework. We will use Swift as, as a language, but the uh, same principles are applying also with Xcode. Uh, we open Xcode, uh, we select uh, create a new Xcode project, and uh, we have to select framework here and the library. Um, we are going to develop a framework for iOS, so we will choose it under iOS. Cocoa Touch Framework, uh, let's give a name, uh, let's call it uh, uh, Universal. Uh, okay, let's call it a complex framework. I call it a complex framework because I'm uh, um, just an, as an example, I will include my library for um, dealing with complex numbers, but just as, as an example. Uh, we select uh, language Swift and uh, we proceed. Uh, I will save it on the desktop. Okay, complex framework. What I usually do, okay, now of course, if I um, if I uh, compile compile the framework, um, for example, for iPhone, I I will um, I will get uh, the package, the framework, but uh, here nothing happens in the interface, so I'm not able to test uh, my classes, my libraries, anything. Uh, nevertheless, if uh, we go to uh, derived data, uh, to, to get here, what we have to do is uh, select window, organizer, you see complex framework. Now we click just here the, the derived Let's see if I... no, it's not available yet. Let's see. Okay, sometimes um, Xcode uh, has um, some little bugs. Anyway, let's go here. Uh, open Show in Finder. So you see, uh, we have the complex framework ready, but it's ready for iPhone for the, the device, not for a simulator. So, uh, I will show you after how to uh, develop a universal framework that put together the framework for iOS and the framework for uh, the simulator. But first of, first of all, let's see how uh, to uh, better um, develop a framework. What I want usually to do is to have a test application. So we add the target, we select application, single view, we call it uh, um, trial app. Okay, we have added it here, trial app. Now, uh, let's see, in our framework, uh, we want, uh, as I told you, to include uh, this library that knows how to manage complex numbers. Good. Here it is. Uh, to test it, uh, we will just generate a complex number uh, using the initializers, and uh, we will print out in the console. Um, how we do this? We do this in the trial application. So we have to configure configure the trial application so that when I run the trial application, I test the code, but at the same time, I'm generating the framework. How do I do this? Simply in build phases, I add as a target dependency the complex framework. I have to be sure that the complex framework is also added here. 
in the in the embedded binaries actually. So it's important that you check that is included also as an embed binary. Okay? And uh, in linked linked frameworks and the libraries. So on one side we have to have it as a dependency, which means that my application before running my application will depend on the compilation and the development of a complex framework. When this is ready, the application will run. So in that moment, we are sure to have all the libraries compiled correctly and usable. Um, now, uh, in my delegation, in my, in my application delegate, I'm going to try my code and at the same time, so developing the framework import um, complex framework. Okay, In complex framework. And here we just use a variable complex equal. This is my class, actually, it's a structure. You see that also the uh, completion appears correctly. We add the real part to and the imaginary part 3, for example. And now we just print out my complex number is string interpolation complex. Now, if I run it, if I run it, for example, for the simulator or for the, the, the device, what will happen here is that I just um, have the library for the simulator or for the device, but the two libraries will be um, generated separated, not, um, not merged together. So we have to merge together the libraries. How do we do this? We, use, we have to use some Unix um, script that is able to do this. In order to, to get this done, we have to add as a new target. Um, we go here, application extension, other, and aggregate. So we select aggregate. We, we call this simply universal. Finished. And now, and now that we have added it, we in the build phases we will add a script, a script that will run when we launch Universal. I will get the script from here. Okay, and we copy the script here. So this script will be. Uh, made will be made available for you here down the video down the video there is a link where you can go and you can download the script you have just to use this script in order to generate the uh, universal directory with the universal framework now we want but we have just to configure it in the convenient way so that when we run trial up at the same time, we will generate this framework that the trial app is using here. But also we generated the universal framework. How do we do this? Just in trial app, we add as a dependency also universal. So before this application will execute, will be generated all the complex framework necessary the ones that we are using uh, here for iPhone or the device or the simulator and at the same time also the universal one. Um, I believe that we are done like this. Uh, so now we just uh, run it again. We can perfectly run it for the iPhone and not for the um, device but in the universal one we will have both. So let's run it. Let's run it for the simulator. Ah, I'm sorry, uh, the application. We run the application. So let's run the application.
So the application, I remember, will print out the complex number. It should work if everything is fine. And it works. If you look here, the um, complex uh, library has been read correctly from, from the embedded uh, framework in my application. At the same time, in parallel with running the application, I've also generated the universal framework. Where is the universal framework? How do we get it? Uh, we can go here in Window, Organizer, in Organizer, uh, we should uh, I, ah here it is no complex framework hmm. I'm not able to some bug in um, in Xcode anyway uh, you should go to derived data derived derived data. You see here complex framework, build, products, universal has been correctly generated. Oh, now we can get this, this is the framework, and put in whatever new project we desire. Or we can sell it, or uh, we can distribute it. To people who collaborate with us in developing the application. This is the library. Let's try the library. Let's see if it works really in a new project. Let's close this project now and let's create a new completely different project that is going to use the library. Let's call this application, uh, uh, let's call it um, new application with a lot of fantasy okay let's do it universal here okay on the desktop we save it and now we will test the code let's test it here you will see here that if I import now complex framework doesn't get recognized because we didn't import yet it. So we go um, here and we just we just drag and drop the framework under release universal we drag and drop it oh sorry 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 It got stuck. Oh, so we drop it here in the project. We copy it. And now we have to do just a very simple thing. In here, new application under general, we have to embed the binary not only to have it as linked framework but also as embedded binary this is important this is important so do not forget this step now we go here and you see that there is no error anymore not only but we can here test again that everything is working perfectly as a complex perfectly suggesting the completion and we print it out again complex is string interpolation here it is and let's launch now you will see I will launch it both for simulator and for the iPhone and you will see that it works perfectly for both so let's start with the iPhone here it is so application launched on the device and here it is it is working
but it is working also for the iPhone 4S, for example. Here it is, printed out. And uh, it is working also for iPhone 6. Actually for all iPhone simulators. Let's see, here it is. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, please uh, go uh, to the link uh, um, below this video. Uh, to www.totalcoded.com and from there uh, you can download uh, totally free uh, the script necessary to generate uh, the framework, uh, universal framework. Uh, the only thing that you have to do is to get registered on the site and to go to the download section. Thank you very much.